Well, with the Roscoe Plowboys were to the Cristobal Cougars in the early 2000s, uh, the Cougars are to the Cross Plains Buffaloes. Yeah, now two straight years that the Cougars are victorious in the opening round and against these very same Cross Plains Buffaloes, 28 to 14 in the by district round. Well, good evening and welcome to Ballinger, Texas. I'm Manny Diaz. As a proud Cristobal, Cristobal native, Man, so pumped to see what these kids from the south end of Tom Green County are doing. Uh, yeah, something that uh, us us folks uh, since the turn of the 11-man era could never do. Now they've done it twice in a row. Coming up, we're going to show you how the Cougars won this one. Uh, hear from uh, the Cougars following this game, plus your play of the game from a guy that's twisting things up. Yeah, you want to stick around for that. <laughs> All righty, but first things first. How about those Chip Cole highlights? To the friendly confines of Bearcat Stadium in Ballinger where the duo of sophomore wideout Bo Jolly and junior QB1 Braden Wilcox and the Cristobal Cougars went to work taking on cross planes for the second time this season. Opening drive for the Buffaloes, fourth down was the theme. Cross planes going for it on fourth and two and Case and Allen, well, is keeping the drive alive. A few plays later, how about another fourth down? Allen carrying the mail himself and taking a few Cougars with him inside the Cristobal Five. Two plays later, it's Caleb Hernandez who sneaks it in and the Buffaloes are on the board first, 7-0. Next seat down drive, the freshman Kyle Lohman under center for the Cougs and on third and 11, throws a strike to catcher Joyner who's close to a first down. Fourth down and one to go. The freshman connection hooks up again. Lohman, the joiner, and that's a Chris Doble first down. The first quarter took a whole 14 minutes in real time, which wrapped up pretty quick. Second quarter now, Braden Wilcox at the wheel. Another fourth down try, needing nine here. But with this guy Wilcox, anything is possible. Decides to pull it down and run it for a Chris Doble fresh set of downs. A little later, Wilcox sharing the wealth, and if Bo Jolly isn't on Wellington's radar, well, he is now. Jolly taking it off the screen and in for the seven-yard touchdown, game tied at seven. But if you thought we were done with Jolly, think again. It cross planes with the rock, but not for long. Holla at your boy. Bo Jolly coming up with the pick. How about that? Next, Cristobal possession, about two to go in the half. It's been a few plays since we've seen Wilcox. Dude, off to the races here for the 30-yard house call, and it's 14-0 C-Town. That would be your score at the break. Third quarter now, Cross Plains coming up with a defensive stop and working with some momentum. But Brayden Wilcox quickly ends any thought of that, taking the pick and going 60 yards the other way to make it 21-7 Cristobal, and the Ballinger kids absolutely loving it. To the fourth. And fourth down, still somewhat of a theme for the Buffs. And Caleb Hernandez singing that George Strait tune. I'd like to have that one back because Bo Jolly is taking it 100 plus yards for the pick six. Cross Plains would add one more score, but in the end, all C Town. Let's check that Texas Bank scoreboard as the Cristobal Cougars cruise past Cross Plains 28 to 14. The difference makers in this one, well, the obvious, the two pick sixes for Cristobal. Meanwhile, Braden Wilcox, good for over 100 yards rushing on the night. After the game, the Cougs talked the new tradition, that dominating defensive effort, and of course, the chance to score some payback. You know, it's been a long time coming. It's, it's, it was a 26-year process that, you know, we've, we've uh, gone back-to-back -back, uh, by district champs, and, and it's pretty special right now. I got, I got a good feeling in my heart right now. It's uh, great. We worked hard for this. We've been waiting for this all season. Uh, we want to get redemption on Wellington, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and fight. This is huge for um, our school, uh, for us as players, and our community as a whole. Uh, we were definitely expecting to win this game. Um, for me, it was just like we must win this game. You know, it's, what, it's our new tradition. Um, we got to build on it and keep pushing into further rounds and uh, make that a tradition as well. Braden Wilcox uh, came out in the second quarter, um, certainly, and kind of just swung the momentum in this one here. Talk about what he was able to do tonight. Uh, he, he did, uh, you know, his, what he usually likes to do, you know. Uh, he, he, he put the team, you know, he puts the team first right there and, and, and keeps them motivated and everything. But what I'm, what I'm most proud of is those kids that stepped up in the first quarter and, and played some role, uh, did some role playing for us. Bo Jolly, this uh, this cat just keeps on doing doing big things. How about him tonight? And, and how much how how pumped are you for him? 
Uh, Bo Jolly, uh, you know, he broke his nose last Friday, and he's got to go tomorrow and get it fixed. Uh, so I was really happy he got to play, you know, and he's a tough kid, and he's not gonna, he's gonna lay everything on the line for this team. He loves these guys. Our defense was focused. We were there. Bo had some good picks. Braden had a pick, and we were just focused. That's all it is. How much y'all looking forward to this redemption match against Wellington? Oh, we're looking forward. We're trying to get that win. We want another good ball when we go to state. We're looking forward to another good game. You know, we got to go and prepare for Wellington. They're a great football team. Uh, we get another chance at them. We get another crack at them. You know, uh, we're going to put everything we got on the field and leave it there. Uh, this is huge for all of us. Um, they kind of left a bad taste on our mouth for the last nine months, and uh, we definitely want to get some revenge. We're out for it. It's time for our ERA New Lending Company play of the game. Braden Wilcox pretty much had in the bag until Bo Jolly came along and took this pick six 100 plus yards to the house. Jolly, good for two touchdowns on the night as the Cougars are headed back to the area round for the second year in a row. Jolly's INT for the touchdown is good for this week's ERA New Lending Company play of the game. Well, back-to-back by district champs, and as a homegrown Cristobal kind of guy, man, so pumped and so excited, so proud of what these Cristobal Cougars are up to these days. All right, uh, coming up for the Cougs in the area round, it's a team that they've seen before. Uh, they'll get the Wellington Sky Rackets, uh, who, was, who were victorious tonight over Electra 56-12. It's a rematch of the 2018 area round. The Sky Rockets victorious over the Cougars in 2018. All right, uh, for the San Angelo Live Cover One crew, I'm Manny Diaz. Good night. God bless. We'll see you in the area round. Go Cougs.